I'm Larry Porter and uh, I make the products and run the manufacturing center for tractor interior upholstery. And I want to introduce you to post covers. Uh, I want to show you ours versus uh, our competitors and versus uh, original John Deere's. Um, been in this business for over 30 years so um, all I've did is interior upholstery products thermal forming of headliners, uh, die cutting of the lowers, hot wiring, uh, foam fabricating, perforating, laminating. <clears throat> so I've, I've been around the block a few times when it comes to upholstery so I'm just going to quickly go through this, give you my two cents worth. Uh, this is far from professional but take it for what it is. Um, I've jotted the prices down in front here. I don't know if you can see them. I hope you can. I hope it comes out. But uh, this would be a tractor interiors part called a quick fit model and it's hundred and twenty one dollars this is also a tractor interior upholstery uh, kit set this would be their standard kit it's fifty eight dollars this is the John Deere post set that was bought here at our local John Deere store it costs hundred and twenty six dollars and eighty eight cents this is uh, competitor A we'll call them um, this kit was uh, bought for sixty dollars and uh, this is competitor B and this kit was bought for $72. Um, the John Deere kit we bought at the local uh, dealer so you would not have to pay shipping on that. The rest of these those are the prices prior to shipping expenses. They're pretty comparable on shipping you know anywhere from nine to twelve dollars so shipping is was pretty consistent across the board. Um, this is I've arranged them here in order of from what I think is the best to the worst post covers, okay? Uh, there's a big variety in these and, and these aren't by any means all the post covers that are made by the different uh, suppliers, but uh, this covers the bulk of them. Most of them are like this pile here, very similar to this pile. But I'm going to go through, tell you some of the pros and cons of each one. This one is, uh, the con to this one is $121. It's a, significant price for a post cover set when you figure the rest of these are 60 bucks except for the uh, 126 88 of uh, John Deere but the beauty of these is they're plastic back you can see they're the right shape right off the bat they're not a flat form they have the correct shape to go on your posts what you do with these things is you pull them apart like this and it, it takes a little bit of force and you snap them around the post cover the grommets here for the window latches that the slides the window in and out, that's what locates the post. These things fit fantastic. They look good, no wrinkles. You don't have to worry about gluing, adhesion, getting them on crooked. Uh, whereas all the rest of the, or these three in the center, you have to worry about getting them on there straight, getting the right amount of glue on there, getting the glue on at the right time, right temperature. Um, that's all out the window with these. These are really nice, foolproof. Um, we call them wrinkle free and repositionable because you can take them off, put them back on. If you happen to put them on and then say, oh man, I got to put a wiring through there, didn't put my wiring through or add something, want to run some wires, you pop them right back off and uh, put the wiring behind, put them back on. Some people we sell these to have elected to use uh, a silicone sealant to go in behind them for squeak and rattle. Um, we provide that with the kit we really don't think it's necessary. Um, you know, most people that I've talked to haven't used it. We've got zero complaints on these. They fit good. They look nice. But if you are concerned about squeak and rattle, don't worry because there's a tube of silicone sealant in there you put behind them. And they're still easy to get off. That silicone sealant isn't like an adhesive. It does not tear these things to pieces when you pull them off. They come off quite nicely. So this is far and away my number one choice. It's made out of Three quarter inch foam like the original ones. Uh, it has a V cuts in the corner so you got nice crisp edges on it. And uh, my second choice would be the the standard model of the tractor interior upholstery. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention about these is they do come with a decal plate and a decal. The decal itself costs $16.20 at John Deere for the two decals. But uh, this comes with the decals and the plastic plate underneath. This one also comes with the decal and the plastic plate underneath. So that's another benefit to buying this one versus the John Deere. 
the, the, this one is very similar to the John Deere. I think this one actually fits a little bit better. We did a lot of trial fitting prototyping and, and run this thing back and forth several times to get it to fit exactly right. You don't need to trim these things, no cutting, no anything. These are a glue-on type and they do come with a can of adhesive, okay? The John Deere ones does not come with a can of adhesive. And they're very similar to the John Deere. You can see the back there, sculpted to hot wire. A lot of labor in both of these parts. They also have a glued over edge right here. Both of them do, the John Deere's and ours has this glued over edge. And what that does is if you glue this edge over, when you look at it from outside the cab through the window, it's a finished edge. These have just a raw foam edge. If you look through the window, you're going to see foam. So, you know, it isn't a huge big deal, but this is significantly nicer. A lot of labor in this thing. Um, you can see that these do not have the labor. Flat, no die cut. They got a little bit of a beveled hedge on this one, so you wouldn't see the foam, but the rest of these... Well, this has got a little beveled edge too, so I guess they do have a little bit of a beveled edge. Some of the people who make these, the half inch thick ones, also have a couple V grooves here for alignment, makes them a little easier to install. That's one thing that's really nice about these two, the John Deere one and the tractor interior um, economy one. I guess I wouldn't call it the economy one, they're just standard one. But uh, they got these two flat surfaces right here and you can line those up down the center of the post and it, it works out really well where you're just sort of out in no man's land on these things. I would highly suggest if you have these that you put a little mark on the bottom of the post and the top of the post and then on your post in your tractor so you can try to get some sort of alignment. Also on these they're sort of all over the place on the the hole locations so you might end up with a little bit of a push down or a little bit shoved up on the holes and the grommets but they don't look really that bad because you put that little bushing over there in the window latch and you don't see that too much but uh, that is not the case on these these tractor interior upholstery ones holes line up everything fits perfect so you know if you if you really want a good product for the best bang for your money you probably want to go with this fifty eight dollar tractor interior one but if you really are nervous about the adhesion and there there is a few problems with the adhesive. You got to get it on straight. You got to have right temperature, low moisture, but if you get them on correctly, they look nice. They'll look every bit as good as this, but if you do have to take them off to run some wiring or something, these will be destroyed versus these can be taken off and put on several times. Um, another thing that I'm a little skeptical on these particular ones is their decal plate is not an ABS plastic. It is a uh, vinyl. So I'm a little concerned that if you put a sticker on this thing, I don't know what type of adhesive is on the back of that sticker, but as you guys have probably experienced, if you take a sticker or a piece of tape and you put it on vinyl and you come back in a few weeks or a few months, it turns into goo underneath there. It just uh, it sucks some of the uh, plastisol out of the vinyl and that's what keeps the vinyl supple and uh, it just turns into just sort of a slimy mess. Yeah, I'm sure you've had kids stick a sticker on a piece of vinyl somewhere and it just turned into goo in a while or tried to repair a seat or a, some type of vinyl case or something with a piece of tape and then it just turned into a mess. And I'm pretty certain that will happen to you if you buy a John Deere decal and put on this vinyl. I'm not 100% sure. I, didn't, I haven't done any testing, but I'm, I'm relatively certain. I've been around the block a few times with the vinyls and, and a few things and there is some reaction between the adhesives and the vinyl. So um, that's another thing a lot of these people aren't aware of that are making these things. If you get kits or parts that are starting to peel off on the edge, it's because they've used the wrong type of adhesive with the vinyls and, and everything reacts. And there's also vi or adhesives you can't use with the foam. The, the adhesive you get with uh, our post kits and stuff will not react with the foam. It's a good product to use on the foam. Um, it is not real friendly with the vinyl. It's going to suck some of the oils out of the vinyl if you get it on that side, but um, you should be gluing just to the foam. Um, this kit, the John Deere kit, does not come with any adhesive, so that would be an extra cost. Also, the, the decal plate and the decal would be an extra cost on the John Deere. This kit, for $60, does come with adhesive, so it wouldn't be an extra cost. This kit, as you can see, is a little bit shorter. The stack is shorter than this. That's because it's made out of half-inch foam. It's, it's a thinner product, uh, but a little cheaper to make for these people. 
and they, they aren't doing the hot wire cuts like John Deere and uh, Tractor Interiors where you get a nice crisp angle when you fold these things up you know right where the corner is and you get a nice crisp corner with these you get sort of a, a round looking corner when you get them put in but they don't look horrible you know they're, they're, they'll look better than what you took off probably if, if the cab was in sort of tough shape but uh, you know I've seen these put on before and if if you spend a lot of time and you line everything good, they, they don't look too bad. Um, these are a lot nicer to use and uh, a lot more precisely made. They have really nice edges and, and they're straight and square to the world. The hole locations are correct so you can align off of any and all holes rather than setting a thing up there and, and trying to figure out where the middle of the part is or where it's right. Uh, the last one I want to show you I really have trouble finding anything nice to say about this. It's a piece of just plastic. Um, and it just goes on the post cover and you got a black post there. I don't know why you'd put this thing on because you're putting a piece of black plastic over a black post. Unless you have a lot of adhesive residue and stuff and then I would still suggest that you clean that off and repaint it black rather than use this. This just sets you up for squeak and rattle to be honest with you. Um, you could go ahead and buy yourself a, a, a tube of silicon sealant that doesn't come with this, but it also, it would stop that squeak and rattle problem if there is any, if they don't fit just perfect. And maybe they do fit perfect and they do fit tight, I don't know. I'm going to bring a cab in here in a little bit and I'll turn the camera back on and we'll see how they do fit. But um, There's no acoustic value to these things. I mean, it just, the, the foam on all of these post covers comes from the same manufacturer, vinyl comes from the same manufacturer, and this foam is specifically designed to absorb sound. That's why it's there. That's why all these thousands of holes are in the vinyl, these little perforated holes. Um, that's to let the sound get into this foam so it can be absorbed. So really, I just see pretty much zero benefit to these things. Um, if you took these and you glued this on, um, you might have a pretty nice looking product. I don't know. I haven't, you know, messed with that. That's that's not our products. And, and we've actually took that to this step plus we've uh, added a, a quarter of an inch of foam to this one. This is three quarters of an inch thick versus half inch thick. Plus we have all the V cuts so you got the nice crisp corners and the decal plate. So far and away the best bang for your buck is this set right here. The $58 tractor interior upholstery set. Uh, the nicest set, the easiest, the quickest to put in. You can put in all four of these in less time than you'll put in a whole set of any of these glue-on ones. This is really, really something. Um, everybody that's bought these, positive feedback. Everybody's just been tickled with them. So, um, I guess I will go ahead and get that cab in here and I'll, I'll stick a couple of these quick fit posts on it and I'll also put on one of these and then we can sort of look and see how they fit. Maybe there wouldn't be a rattle problem with them. We haven't had a rattle problem with these. Most people do not use that silicone sealant on there, but we put it in there and I recommend you do particularly the front left post where you get in and out. It's not a four-sided post, so it doesn't lock in quite as well. It's a three-sided post, but we've had people put these in, have no problem not use the silicone sealant, but uh, it also is locked in because the the window latch that goes through here, so that, that sort of holds it into place, but um, it's, it's up to you whether you want to use a sealant or not. It's, it's in, in the kit, but uh, you can determine that yourself, how you want to go. So anyway, I'll go get that cab, bring it in here, and then I'm going to put these posts in, um, put these posts on a couple, and we'll, we'll see what we have. Okay, we have a 30 series cab in here. Um, I'm not going to use the silicone sealant on the, the post covers. If you were, you'd just uh, put a bead here and a bead here. These two or three spots just, uh, you know, secure it a little bit more, but there is no reason to do that. Um, right now there's a camouflage kit in here for uh, quick fit post covers. That are, are not sealed on, so I'm just going to show you how easy they are to pop off of there. There's one out. There's two out. You've got the windows off of this thing so you can see. This will free 
out of there. So you, you can see they come out of there really quite easily, but you have, you have to bend them around because they are snapping around the post. There's the fourth one out of there. <clears throat> so now I'll go ahead and start putting in the ones I showed you earlier. I'll try to stand out of the way so you can sort of get a look at how we're doing this. Tucking it around the edge, pulling it around, and then you can hear that thing pop. When it pops, it's over there. Then we have this little tucking tool. If you need to tuck anywhere, this one actually is pretty good. Need just a little bit of a tuck right here. Bottom's good. Everything looks right there. Go back to the next one. That's post cover number one put in already. Oops, got to put them in right side up. Sort of tuck them in. Slide them up into position. Snap them around the post cover. There you go. Pops into position. You hear that thing snap? You know it's in there. And you can put that material in around the post there. Go on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That one's done. Okay, this one is the plastic one from uh, competitor B. We'll see what that thing looks like when we get it in here. Careful on this thing, I don't want to rip the upholstery. You should have sharp corners on these plastic. Post the last one. How quick these go in there? Just sort of start them on the bottom and then slide them up into the headliner there and push them up. Get them into place. Set them in there. There's uh, pretty much nothing to it. Your little tucking tool comes with your post kits to. Make sure that's all tucked in properly. From here, just fill just a teeny bit of material underneath here. Tuck that in next to the post. Looks pretty good. Can't complain about that. Okay, that's basically all there is. Up, I got a little wrinkle right here. You take your tucking tool, work that material in, and boom, it's gone. So. Okay, let's look and see what we have here. And this is competitor B's post cover. So you got a little bit of a rattle there. So you would want to silicone that thing, but it actually does fit pretty good. Hole location is not too bad. Post length is pretty good down here, you know. It's a little rattly, but if you silicone that thing, it probably wouldn't be too bad. But it, uh, in comparison to what we have, that's our quick fit post. And look at the top there, how the seam fits nice, tucks up into the other one. Bottom fits in right around there. Look at the rear one over here again. The bottom fits nice and tight. Oh, but this, we're looking at it out sitting on a camouflage interior, so there's a little bit of a contrast, which actually is good because you can see, you know, how good it fits. There's no problems. Nice fit, it's just tucked up underneath there a little bit. Down on the bottom, fits nice, nice angle there. Front right post, looks like it fits good around the bottom. Sort of leaning around. I don't know what kind of picture I'm getting here, but um, see what the top looks like. I think fits good. No wrinkles. 
And that's all there is. I mean, you can put one of these post cover sets in this thing. This is uh, sort of what they look like. This is a camouflage set right here, but this is what you'd you'd get these four pieces. All plastic back. You can sort of see the plastic back in these a little better because of the contrast in the camo. But you can put all four of these in in less time than you can glue on a standard post cover. And they're wrinkle free, repositionable, easy to take back out. Um, they just they fit good. You see a nice even edge here. You know, no exposed foam edges, no matter how close you look at that thing. You're not going to see an exposed foam edge on the part. So, this one, well, yeah, this is a competitor's model and it doesn't wrap around the back side of the post at all. It just sort of ends right at the, the edge versus the one we put on. The edge is right here, and so we came all the way around the corner versus that. Which, you know, I, you're just not gaining anything with this. It's the acoustic. And you go over here and tap on this. You know, look at what you have. I mean, it's just, there's going to be no squeak and rattle on any of these posts. You know, they go in easy. This is just the way to go. I mean, it's, they look good. Decal, decal plate. The best post on the market by far. But uh, anyway, we also have them in camo, obviously. They're available here. You see that. We make camo lowers for these tractors if you're into the camo business. Also, uh, we got camouflage headliner set to match. This is really poor lighting in here, but this is just give you a quick overview. So um, any questions, problems, or anything, give us feedback. Uh, if you like us, if you don't like us, uh, what can we can do different to make our products better? We feel like we have the best products on the market currently, and we're going to continue to improve. Thanks for your time, and let us help you out if you need some cab parts.